Jason Martin, Chief Winemaker for Brancourt Estate, and I'm based in sunny Marlborough, the, the South Island of New Zealand. And here I am at uh, Studio Draw in Soho, New York. Brancourt Estate are very much the pioneers of the Marlborough region. We planted the first vineyards there in 1973, and then in 1975 actually planted the first Sauvignon Blanc in Marlborough, and arguably that's what transformed the New Zealand wine industry. I'm Drew Benchitrit, founder of Drawer, an idea-driven design studio. We are a holistic design practice that works across the board of architecture, design and art installation. I met Draw last year, he came to Marlborough and that trip to Marlborough inspired an amazing installation which is part of this collaboration we have. I think it was very obvious for me when we were there that I want to do something that respond to the landscape. It started with the idea of working with the geometry that we've been playing with for quite some time, the quad drawer, and really looking at how to multiply the structure in a way that corresponds to the actual grid of the winery. I took an instant love for what he actually proposed. To me it reflected the vines, the uniformity of rows across the vineyard, but it was also something which started from the ground and actually raised up. To me it showed that transformation of the vines on the landscape, but also of the way we make wine. The installation is going to be called Understanding, which is actually inspired by Buckminster Fuller's statement about how you should stand underneath your work to understand it better and to perceive it in a different way. I see a real link between what we do as winemakers and design as well, and I think both of them incorporate art and science. From a winemaking point of view, it's about understanding the land and actually converting essentially a raw ingredient into something which is beautiful and actually thought-provoking as well. And I see the same with design. It's about creating something which intrigues people.